So yeah, so the Greek thought would say that to be unemployed is, is a piece of singular good fortune. But anybody who's been involuntarily unemployed knows that that's, that does something to you. In fact, I know a, I know a gentleman, a um, guy I went to college with, who uh, graduated from Fordham Law in New York City. And upon graduation, uh, got a job with a, um, a, uh, a law firm in New York City making $160,000 fresh out of college. Well, this was in 2008. And so in six months, on, on, on a certain day, uh, that same firm laid off 90 attorneys. And of course, uh, you know, not being there very long, he was one of them. He went 18 months of being unemployed. He had spouts of temporary employment where he was simply doing legal writing. <laughs> but that has changed him. Initially, it was, uh, I was afraid it would change him to the negative. But uh, today, uh, now he has a full-time job and he's doing wonderful. Um, so I guess I, I guess I give that example to say that, that unemployment I is not a piece of singular good fortune. That, there, that there's something, I, I think there's something created in the human, uh, created in us that for which work is necessary. Um, so the cynicalness would be, uh, addressing the cynicalness, I would say that um, if you're unemployed, you have a job. It's for 40 hours a week to find a job. So you're working, but you're just not yet getting paid. And so if we will not actually see ourselves as being unemployed, but work hard to be employed monetarily, you, usually through that God provides a job. <laughs>